you can find the number pi using fun and satisfying methods. For example, you can simply throw food items like frozen hot dogs, otter pops, celery, or churros from your kitchen. To start, choose a long, straight, stiff item between 15 to 20 centimeters, like a frozen hot dog, making sure to measure its length accurately. Lay down masking tape in parallel strips across the floor as far apart as your projectile is long. The strips should be perpendicular to the direction you will be throwing. If your item is 15 to 45 centimeters, 6 to 18 inches long, lay down about 6 to 10 strips. Lay down fewer if longer and more if shorter. On a piece of paper, make a column for tosses and another column for crosses. The tosses column is where you'll keep track of how many times you throw your food item. The crosses column is where you'll keep track of how many times your item lands across one of the lines. Note that landing is not the same thing as bouncing. Get into position and throw your food. Once it is at rest, observe whether or not it is crossing one of the lines. If it is, put a tick under crosses and a tick under tosses. If it isn't, just put a tick under tosses. Repeat this as many times as you like. You should start seeing some interesting results by around 100 to 200 throws. When you're done, divide the number of crosses by 2 and divide the number of tosses by that. For example, if you threw 300 times and it crossed 191 times, you would calculate 300 divided by 191 divided by 2. And to your amazement, you will now have an approximation for pi.